you say way oh I say boom 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 No way about to say way oh Way oh Boom 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 No let me hear you say way oh Some metals can react with water, acid or oxygen. The word equation for when metals react with oxygen is metal plus oxygen produces a metal oxide. The reactivity series is a list of metals starting with the most reactive to the least reactive. Copper and above in the reactivity series can react with oxygen to form a metal oxide. So what we have to be able to do with this is we have to be able to create a word equation and then do the chemical equation and balance it. So if I chose calcium as my metal and reacted it in oxygen, I would produce calcium oxide. The formula for calcium is Ca. Oxygen is a diatomic element, so it exists as O2. And when I do my SVSDF for calcium oxide, I get the formula CaO. If you want to have a little bit of practice at this, um, I would advise watching writing formula for compounds ending in aid and the simple balanced equations. Copper and above in the reactivity series react with oxygen. Remember, metal plus oxygen produces a metal oxide. A way to remember this is my lovely chemistry. Magnesium and above react with water, lead and above react with acid, and copper and above react with oxygen. This past paper question is from the National 5 2017 written 8A part 1. A teacher demonstrated the following experiment. And the results are shown in the table. Describe what would be observed if in the experiment it was repeated using magnesium. So the first thing that we have to look at is the reactivity series. We can see that the glow increases in terms of its brightness. Magnesium is above zinc in the reactivity series, which means magnesium will glow with a bright white light. 